ということでまた、えー、投資家の専門分野の視点から Web3 分野に関して、えー、楽しいお話伺えるかと思いますそれではスピーカーの方にご登壇いただきましょうご入場くださいアナリストデリバティブトレーダーイベントプロデューサー大手員様プリントグラムベンチャーアジアパートナーケビン・ケン様スカイランドベンチャーズベンチャーパートナーユアシェハンさん名のもと創造者ジャック・ゴーさんでは以上All right, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be in Tokyo, my first time in Japan, so absolutely incredible. Awesome event, thank you so much for the invite.、Uh, my name is Tom Bates, I come from the traditional、uh, Wall Street environment where I worked for 10 years in quantitative finance.、Uh, and over the last 10 years, I've been Uh, in the crypto space、uh, with a YouTube channel,、uh, educating about Bitcoin, educating about investing, educating about trading. So it's a pleasure for me to host and moderate、uh, this panel on、uh, venture capital investing. And、uh, thank you again,、uh, TC, for the invite. And、uh, we are missing one person that we're looking for now. And、uh, Jan, he'll be joining us in a second. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and、uh, do intros. Uh, Kevin, go ahead and、uh, introduce yourself,、uh, your background, and how you、uh, started in the crypto investing world. Okay, thank you, Mr. Gong, and thanks for the invite,、uh, invitation.、Uh, I'm Kevin、uh, from the CG, CGV and the Asia partner of CGV. Actually, our team is built uh, together uh, with.、Uh, Uh, with, uh, with some of the actually it's based in Japanese,、uh, but I'm the one who speaks English, so I was here.、Uh, yeah, I, I joined the crypto industry since 2015.、Uh, actually, I was、uh, doing a lot of、uh, investments since the very beginning. We, we were in the traditional uh, venture uh, capital,、uh, and then we, we started to transfer into cryptos. So, we have a lot of、uh, major investments actually in the very, very early stage. We are the investor of、uh, OKX, and then,、uh, I, uh, and then we started to like, like some、uh, big ones like FTX, a、uh, lot of uh, other uh, uh, exchanges and projects as well,、uh, like Casper Labs,、uh, like、many, many other、uh, projects. And、uh, for CGD,、uh, we based on research. Uh, incubation and,、uh, and the fourth as well. So we are also the LP of、uh, like the Rocktree, Orbi, Binance Labs, and the、uh, uh, Kirin Fund,、uh, etc. And we also invest in studios.、Uh, those studios which producing,、uh, keep on producing uh, like, uh, projects, for example, like gaming projects and other projects, such like that. So we, we do this kind of thing. And we also have a、uh, Uh, direct、uh, investments as well. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you.、Uh, Jan, thank you for joining us as well.、Uh, please introduce yourself,、uh, your background, and how you came to be an investor in the crypto space. Thank you for having me. And、uh, good afternoon, everyone.、Uh, my name is Yuan Xiao Hang. And、uh, actually, I'm Chinese, but I've lived in Japan around 30 years. so Maybe my Japanese is more better than Chinese and English. So it's the first time for me to speak English in front of so many guests. So I'm very actually nervous. So I, maybe I will may refer to my papers and my notes in English. So I'm sorry for that. So first, let me introduce myself. And、uh, I went at Kyoto University and、uh, I'm in school at Nagoya University. And、uh, actually, I'm a traditional venture capitalist, like the guests. And、uh, I invest in China、uh, 
20 years ago, actually, and uh, I back to Japan in 2014, and I joined the Skyline Rangers in 2019. And uh, let me introduce Skyline Rangers. So we are the Shield Rangers capital currently, the focus on blockchain technology. We we'll invest in over 200 companies with four funds so far. And uh, we got the biggest Japanese IP, uh, uh, biggest IPO in Japan, which the company name uh, is Anika last year. And uh, now this is our new fund focused on the blockchain. And uh, actually we just start our investment in Web3 project this year. So, uh, we have invested around 20 projects, including the Typo, uh, the one, the uh, are two players, and uh, the Auditor Finance, the bridge for the two transactions, and the NFT for the analyst platform. And uh, I actually close the Gold Plus, the biggest security uh, APR uh, last week. And we, we even invest in several Japanese companies like Tekai. Tekai is, the, I think, the, is the most R50 project for the security for the NFT traders in Japan now. And we invest in this And it's a SDT platform for managing and for DAO to make their community activity. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, Jack. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm Jake. I have known Bitcoin since 2012, and I have been in the blockchain industry for more than 10 years. I need the Canon Group to become the world's first blockchain company to be listed on NASDAQ in 2019. Basically, I was invited and joined the Hong Kong Cyber Port. Hong Kong Cyber as a board member. Cyberport is an important part for, for our government to support the World Trade projects. Hope I can provide more support if you have a, a plan in Hong Kong. Alright, thank you Jack. So we'll stay uh, with that side. So Jack, you will get the first question. Uh, since you mentioned you've been in uh, Bitcoin since 2012, it's been over a decade. Uh, you've seen many cycles. Uh, so what is uh, the most exciting thing that your investment opportunities uh, that you see right now uh, in uh, the greater crypto space with Web3 or anything else that you are currently investing in? Okay, thank you. I think uh, there are four uh, stages in Web3 development. Uh, the ETC based uh, blockchain space, the ETH based finance application space, and uh, the native Web3 space, and the uh, industrial Web3 space. I think we are moving phase 2 to phase 3. So there are more um, uh, opportunities for those blockchain platforms to finance in public chance with enough liquidity or to, to technology uh, applications in high-performance public chess. Thank you. And uh, Gan, so you recently raised money for a new fund. Yes. Uh, what is that fund focused in? What kind of projects are you looking to invest in right now? Yeah. Actually, we just start our investing in Web3 this year. So we we are investing a portion of money to the overseas uh, project, and uh, we invest other monies in domestic Japan as well. So, like in terms of the overseas, and uh, we will invest in area and the business with a very high probability of success from C to C to A. And uh, we will invest in projects that were likely to be at the top of the blockchain ecosystem uh, in the next maybe one to five years. And we want to support them to 
to develop their own ecosystem in Japan, to market in Japan. And in Japan, uh, as you know, we, we may focus on the very early stage and uh, we will continue to be perceived investment in young people, particularly students. And I mentioned the two projects we invest in Japan. Both of them are students. And the investment will be made in people with potential uh, skills, even some amazing Web3 ideas. And uh, we are very appreciative to, uh, because we are a newcomer, so we are very appreciative to, so, to the guests here to introduce your potential, maybe young person Japanese to us. So that's all. our uh, investment strategy. All right, very good. And uh, Kevin, so same question. Uh, what are what is your fund focused on right now as to what kind of projects uh, you're invested in? And are you looking at only in Japan or is it uh, uh, more global for the founding team? Okay, thank you. Um, <coughs> Actually, a little different from Mr. Yen. So we invest uh, metro uh, projects. Actually, we don't invest in students' uh, uh, startup projects. Um, CGV based in actually based in uh, Japan. Uh, we our founder, uh, who's a Japanese one uh, from like uh, uh, from uh, old uh, like traditional financing. Well, uh, and we do invest in uh, currently we focusing on. Uh, infrastructure spaces, so uh, like uh, on-chain uh, applications, uh, DEX, Swap, and uh, maybe some new public chains uh, as well. So uh, we, uh, like uh, in Japan, uh, we also invest some of the projects, uh, probably you might know, like, for example, like PassPay, uh, which, is kind of, uh, which is having a, a stable coin for Japan as well. And also some like mentorous projects or game card projects uh, like uh, main covers uh, and uh, there's an NFT platform for the Unity, which is also the asset boost here. It's also our part of our portfolios. So uh, basically, um, to answer the last question is uh, like uh, we will base on Japan. We will uh, expand and help Japanese projects to go in the board, and also we will do like uh, accelerate incubating. <laughs> And uh, also combine Japanese IPs uh, together with uh, with like NFT or gaming files or uh, or, or maybe more technical based uh, like uh, applications uh, to help them to uh, go in abroad. Okay, and uh, our investment is also uh, investing in the international projects. Actually, most from the North America, um, uh, and uh, of course Japan is our base. Uh, so we will uh, be more focusing, and we hopefully there will be more uh, good Japanese uh, projects coming. Okay, uh, uh, because in the previous couple of years, uh, we don't see uh, large Japanese uh, like, uh, projects in the world, right? So, uh, but hopefully, I think there's a new one and some opportunities coming. So hopefully, we will be able to. Uh, synchronize and uh, like uh, helping the Japanese projects to uh, go into the world. Okay, very good. And uh, we'll stay with you so you'll start our next topic. So, uh, everything started with Bitcoin uh, around 12 years ago. Uh, then, uh, alternative coins became popular. Then came uh, other decentralized platforms and DeFi. Then NFTs were popular. Right now, it's Web3. Uh, what do you see next? AI is becoming very popular. Um, are you now focused? Uh, how does Web3 and AI merge together? Um, are you looking at any individual AI companies? Or are you looking for a mix of what can AI do for Web3? Uh, is that an interest or focus in your fund? Okay, uh, that's a, a good question. And uh, yes, it is. Um, basically, Web3, uh, we talk a lot about Web3. 
uh, like you, what you just mentioned, like uh, crypto is part of uh, uh, Web3, uh, and there is the NFT and many things, and uh, uh, all kinds of token knowledge uh, combined into and it becomes Web3. So for AI technology, uh, I think it's a very uh, important part and uh, uh, enhancement of uh, to help Web3 uh, technology to develop. Uh, so uh, we do invest a lot of uh, or do, do a lot of investigation on AI projects uh, as well. Uh, let me make an example. For example, we are currently uh, accelerating one of the projects, which is Web3 projects, and he focusing on NFT is kind of chance. Uh, but the funny part is uh, we use AI like a ChatGPT or OpenAI. Uh, to enhance the, uh, the, the NFTs to have uh, to have their own ideas. So just imagine uh, your NFT. Um, maybe it's a punk or it's a uh, like a BYC uh, or, or anything else. Uh, they have their own ideas, right? So all they have uh, jobs job steps ideas. Uh, or uh, they have other maybe famous guys' ideas, right? Or they have their, your own feelings. You just need to trade them. Uh, so any any uh, any guys in the public, uh, if they have, uh, for example, they write some books or they, they have some articles in the in the internet, they'll be collecting their thoughts, their insights, and they'll be trained all those insights uh, using AIs and and be combine it uh, into the NFTs. So just imagine when you have an NFT, you talk to him, right? So he has his own ideas. Uh, uh, for example, I trade one of my uh, my NFT like a monkey. It's a monkey, and uh, and uh, I trade him uh, with uh, Elon Musk's ideas. So what he first talking to me is, uh, don't waste my time. I'm control the world. So so it's quite funny. And uh, so I think this is uh, the way how uh, AI is helping the web web stream to uh, move forward. And of course, there is a lot of uh, other opportunities, right? So uh, I think I think this is uh, this is definitely the trend. Uh, as uh, Tom just mentioned, uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, industries going on. Uh, very initially, there is a public chain. And there is an exchange, right? There's a new, uh, a lot of NFT things. And now it's like uh, uh, AI combined with Web3, I think it's a trend or something. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, same question. How do you see AI uh, contributing to the current crypto world? Well, it's a good question. Actually, we invest several AI projects. And uh, today, Actually, we released uh, uh, our portfolio is the new founder rating and the company name is Grasta. And it's the biggest uh, VR chart in Japan. And now they made a lot of AI technology in their VR room. And it, it, I mean, the Grasta numbers are going very fast. And uh, yeah, we can see we are actually. Uh, in a very um, different stage now. So we have the AI impact to our Wave 3, I mean, I'm the Wave 3 person. And uh, we, we actually, we, we start to invest in some amazing project. I think maybe the game, game AI protocol for in Japan will have huge chance, depending on their new technology. Okay, thank you. And uh, go ahead, Jack. Okay. I was in the USA last week, and everyone was talking about AI. Uh, uh, I also discussed this topic with OpenAI CEO Sam in 2015. I think AI plus blockchain is Web3, because they are both digital native and the code is love. At the same time, uh, AI brings uh, brings better efficiency, so it will create more room for uh, innovations in Web3. All right, thank you. Uh, so we're gonna uh, come back here. So I was fascinated to learn, uh, Kevin, you were one of the early uh, researchers 
uh, companies and uh, uh, I guess pioneers of BRC20, yes, yes. Uh, which is an infrastructure to bring uh, tokenization on top of the Bitcoin blockchain, something that Ethereum became very, very uh, popular from. Uh, I am what people call a Bitcoin maximalist. Um, I think that in the future there will only be uh, one blockchain and everything will be built on top of it, similar to how we have one internet today. And while it's very interesting that there are other projects and other tokens experimenting with uh, what's happening, eventually the ERC-20 infrastructure was going to come to Bitcoin. And uh, there is now BRC-20. Uh, I still hope that the token building infrastructure moves to the liquid sidechain as a sidechain of Bitcoin. Uh, but right now, there's already ordinals uh, and NFTs and now a tokenization structure on top of Bitcoin itself. Uh, so tell us a little more about that and where do you think that is headed? Wow, well, okay. It's a very challenging topic uh, because BRC20 is quite, quite new. So uh, we are actually also at a loss that whether it is in the direct uh, direction in the in the correct directions, but however, uh, first of all, I'm I'm also supporting ERC20, of course, right? Uh, this is a really uh, uh, it's it's very uh, popular and very important, and the smart contract definitely in the future. And but uh, there is some good advantage for BRC20. Uh, for example, if we are talking about the NFT, so uh, it's. The very important characteristic is like uh, it, it should be mortal, right? It should be always there, right? So, so if it is encrypted inside the BTC, so I think everybody will believe that the NFT, is, this NFT is more uh, of uh, like a forever life, right? So than any other uh, uh, than any other blockchains. So um, and also uh, for BRC20. And they are starting to building a lot of uh, ecosystems like the DEX about the BRC20 or, or some of these kind of things. Uh, this there is some disadvantages. For example, causing Bitcoin chain uh, huge objections, right? So the, the, uh, and the, you you see the gas these days is uh, is huge uh, as well, right? But however, it is it is also helping. Uh, the whole blockchain industry is growing. Everybody is thinking what we can do on Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin contains more than half uh, like values, uh, market values in crypto industry. So and the most of time, last time, we are doing the DeFi summer and everything is based on Ethereum. So if we are thinking there is a new uh, like a world market coming, so what will be the engines to drive this world market, right? So uh, there is high possibility that Bitcoin will lead in the coming uh, world market, right? So uh, how how it will happen? It will not happen on the mining industry only, right? So and uh, if Bitcoin is just as a payment or as a, a symbol, like as a sim, uh, symbol of us, so. So how, how it will grow, right? So so there is a, a Bitcoin echo, if it's happening, it's good. And there is a technology based inside, right? So like uh, suddenly nice as work, right? This kind of things. So uh, it will help for Bitcoin to grow and uh, eventually it will help the, the blockchain uh, grow and uh, bring us full market, which we all hope so, right? All right, thank you so much. We have two minutes left. Uh, so, any uh, closing thoughts, uh, real quick, about your fund or any single exciting project? I'll go ahead, Jan, and then we'll close out uh, with Jack. So, but yeah, I have to say, so we are now still in the bear market. That's why I tell you that just every day to remind me to not invest very. 
Rafferty, and I thought I'm totally agree with his opinion. And now it's quite possible uh, the world money will come to go to the Bitcoin uh, halving in next 2024. Because the uh, halving is uh, the mining reward because to half. And the blockchain can attract a lot of uh, I mean, attention in, in the year in the year in that year and the last party and uh, so it will be very necessary to borrow uh, to, to see the year and there's no doubt that I uh, I mean ordinary uh, or PRC twenty even pay they are part of this moment. So I believe we are very close to the next bull market. Uh, excellent. I'm uh, very happy to hear that. And final thoughts? Just uh, uh, final words from Jack and uh, Ned O'Hab. We're good? Okay. Uh, we're running out of time, so that's 10 seconds. All right. Thank you so much. Jack and I are going to be on a panel on the, in the other room uh, coming up in a few minutes as well. If you want to hear more from us on the investing world, uh, it will happen uh, right around the, the hall in about 20 minutes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.